Hey everyone, it's Adam. I'm here to do a Linux course, kind of like a, we're going to start off very basic and then get more into the advanced kind of stuff. And you might be asking why Linux? Well, Linux is cool. An unbelievable amount of stuff runs on Linux. All your favorite cloud providers like Azure, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, all of their data centers are mostly made out of Linux machines hosting the infrastructure. Um, most cloud is going to be Linux. If you want to be a sysadmin or DevOps or pretty much anybody who's going to be working in IT, a, a knowledge of Linux will be ever so helpful to you and it will make you very marketable. You'll be able to have some pretty badass skills and you'll be pretty desirable in the marketplace. You know, a lot of services are run on Linux, mail servers, you know, DNS servers, web servers, all running on Linux. If you want to get into cybersecurity, well, you're going to be learning a lot about Linux and how the architecture is built up, how you would exploit the systems. Or this is even useful if you just want to run your own servers at home. Maybe you want to run a streaming servers to stream movies and TV shows to your friends and family. And, you know, they don't need to have Linux running. They could just watch your stream on their TV or on their Windows computers and not they don't need to know anything about how Linux works but you could be kind of like that provider for them like providing that kind of value to your friends and family so it's pretty cool so it's gonna be a lot of fun this course is gonna be fun and just a quick pointer my username is oxymonster and this is in reference to the Darknet Diaries podcast they have an episode about oxymonster which is just like dark stuff about the internet. Really cool episode. You should go check it out if you haven't already. Now, as we go through this course, I need to make sure that you're going to be coming along with me. You need to be typing out all these commands. You need to be in the graphical user interface of Linux doing all the things that I'm doing along with me. It's not going to help if you're just watching. So if you're watching right now, maybe watch a different video and come back to this when you're on the computer and ready to follow along. Now, if you don't already know how to set up a virtual machine, then I've already have a couple other videos showing you how to do that, and I'll drop those links in the description below. So go ahead and start there if you don't already know how to set up a Linux virtual machine. The best part, of course, about virtual machines is that we can break these virtual machines. You know, after the video ends, you can keep practicing your commands, exploring different commands, maybe breaking your system. And it's okay because it's a virtual machine, so we could just start all over again if we break it. And, and you know, when I was starting to learn this kind of stuff, I've broken my parents' machine so many times, getting viruses or deleting something in the registry that I wasn't supposed to delete. And, you know, it was, it was crazy. And they always got mad at me. And that stuff costs a lot of money, especially back then. So... Nowadays, though, we just have a virtual machine where we can experiment and practice our skills and not worry about breaking something. And actually, funny enough, Linux is something that is very user-friendly. If And I'm talking about people like my, my mom, who doesn't really understand computers and just needs email and websites. Well, you have Firefox right here. So if my mom were to use this, I could just, you know, remove all these. The only thing she really needs is... YouTube, which she can access from Firefox, and Mail. And we don't have a Mail application, but that's okay because she can just go to Gmail on Firefox anyway. So Linux is really is really the easiest because there's like not a whole lot of things on the desktop. There's not a whole lot of weird things everywhere, no pop-ups. It's literally just Firefox. Mom can go on YouTube, go on Gmail. And it's actually even more secure than Windows is anyways. So, you know... I'm not sure why more people aren't using Linux. But we're getting off topic because this course is not about how to run a casual little Linux desktop. This course is about, it's a deep dive into understanding how Linux works and understanding how you can become better at it and how to become a system administrator or a site reliability engineer. This course is going to be command line heavy. So I want to say majority of everything we're going to be doing is going to be in this shell that we're seeing here. We're going to help you become a command line wizard. So we're going to be talking about the most common shell, which is Bash, the born-again shell. 
and we're going to be talking about the boot process, we're going to be talking about the architecture of Linux, we're going to be talking about the init file, which is the startup initialize or initial process of Linux. We're going to be talking about the kernel, the access control and root or sudo powers. We're going to be talking about the file system, how it's laid out, where everything is and how it works. We're going to be talking about process control, like controlling the processes and applications, managing them. And as quickly as possible, we're going to be getting into common sysadmin tasks or you know, day-to-day -day kind of things that you'd be using as a site reliability engineer or a systems engineer. Managing users, storage, troubleshooting applications, looking at network traffic flows, doing security patches, updates, you know, monitoring application usage, monitoring security. We're going to be covering remote options for Linux, you know, SSH, which is a cryptographically secure connection, things like backup, restores, file replications, checking to see where the log files are, doing basic troubleshooting methodologies, configuring applications. We're going to be covering common services that we'd be running in production services like this, like maybe DNS or Ansible, or even services that you would run at home. Maybe you want to run your own mail server, your own file server, or, or security settings for your own network to protect your family and their emails. And we'll talk about the kernel itself, which is Really, Linux is the kernel, like the, the center of the operating system. And everything outside of the kernel is really just software, which is GNU Linux, GNU Linux, you'll often... It's, and it's a huge kind of... You could read endless, endless posts and articles and forums about what is Linux and what is GNU Linux and what the differences are and, you know, why, why that's important and all the philosophy that comes along with it. And it's... it's a lot of stuff. You can read about that for a lifetime and still not understand all of it. We'll cover TCP IP, which is the way that the network works basically, like, you know, CCNA kind of stuff. We'll talk about how routing works on the internet, some security that comes along with it, maybe some applications that we can use on Linux to help us route. Um, we're not going to be getting into hacking and pen testing too far. Maybe we'll do like a, just a little bit of basics about it, but this course is definitely the foundation that you absolutely need, like no exceptions. You do need to know everything that we're going to be talking about this course if you're going to be, if you're planning on hacking or a pen testing, because you're not going to be good to anyone as a hacker or a pen tester if you don't know how Linux works. This course is going to be really great for helping you land your first job in IT or helping you move up in IT as you know, this, this career path is really great, and it's my chosen career path, and I personally, I could not picture myself doing any other job outside of IT. I would be very miserable doing anything but working with computers, and I can only recommend it to everyone else, as the demand for IT is only going to get more and more and more as technology progresses along in the world, in modern society, and the amount of people who are working towards getting into IT is very minimal, very slim. I don't see a lot of people working in IT, but I see a lot of jobs and a lot of demand. So if you can work a Linux, if you can walk the walk and talk the talk, then you will have a very great career ahead of you, a very great life ahead of you. All right, so I hope you're excited. And this video is just about the introduction. It's like a highlight or an index overview, you can call it, of what we're going to be learning in this course and what where it's going to take you skill-wise and maybe career-wise. We'll talk about some certifications too. I'll bring up some job, talk about some job stuff, like how you go through interviews, how you approach the job hunt, so to say. So... Yeah, I'll see you on the next video as it will be the first hands-on video of this course. See you guys there.